just thought I'd make a quick video that helps visualize the difference between strong and weak acids. So imagine a beaker with a liquid in, that's an acid, and it's a one mole per decimeter cubed solution of hydrochloric acid. And we know that that's a strong acid. So what does that mean? It means that it is completely dissociated. So the HCl actually splits apart and becomes the separate ions. So if the concentration of the HCl is one moles per decimeter cubed from the mole ratio, you can see that the H plus concentration will also be one mole per decimeter cubed because there's a one to one mole ratio. So visualizing that, we've got a high H plus concentration. If we do the same for a weak acid now, so this is a one mole per decimeter cubed, so I'm keeping the concentration the same, solution of methanoic acid. And that's an example of a weak acid. Weak acids are partially dissociated. And so because this forward reaction doesn't happen as readily as the reverse reaction, that's going to make this H plus concentration very low. And the actual concentration of the H plus ion is 0.013 moles per decimeter cubed. Now you won't have to worry about that until year two of chemistry. So just take my word for it that that's the concentration of H plus. So hopefully you can see it's a lot lower than we had before. And to visualize that, the H plus concentration would be absolutely tiny. So there's that little H plus there.